Hey guys, Matt here, and in this episode of Smart House, we're going to be setting up the home network. The reason we're setting up a network is because it's how all the devices are going to talk together. For example, our outlets and switches are going to be connected through Wi-Fi, and so that way they can communicate to the various devices throughout the house. Also, having a network a strong network is nice is because that way you have a fast and reliable connection throughout your house. So for example I'm going to show you how to use an old router as a Wi-Fi access point. So that way if you're on another floor that doesn't have such strong signal which I'll show you how to find how strong it is you can use an access point to make it stronger. We're going to be creating our network there will be different parts there's going to be the main part of the network which will be basically the brain or center of the house and that's where the main router is going to be and the modem is going to be, as well as the switch to connect to the various Ethernet cables throughout the house. The materials you're going to need for this episode are a modem, router, or a combo, which is what I have here. This is a, a Cisco uh, cable modem router combo. And so this is going to be the main router of the house. Then you're also going to need some extra routers, which are right here. These two are routers that don't have Wi-Fi. So you can turn these into switches, which I'll show you how to do later. You're also going to need Wi-Fi routers. So that way we'll turn these into access points. And you're also going to need a switch. So that way you can connect everything together. You're also going to need some smartphones. It can be an Android or an iPhone. Uh, Android for this specific purpose has better apps which I'll get into later and you're also going to need some Ethernet cable and a power strip. Some materials that are also helpful in this episode would be a label maker, a Ethernet cable tester that you can put on two ends of a cable so that way you can test all your cables and see which cable is which inside your house for labeling. This is an ethernet cable, or some people like to call it a patch cable, and it has an RJ45 connector on each side. The ethernet cable is the most common cable used in networking. There are many different categories of the ethernet cable, and this is just referring to the performance of the cable due to how it is made, such as crosstalk and other factors. The most common is Cat5 or Cat5e. This is a DSL cable, and it is basically a Cat5 cable with RJ11 connectors on each end. It looks similar to an ethernet cable, but it has different connectors and it is used to connect your DSL modem to the internet service provider. Lastly, this is a coaxial cable, or coax, and it is very different from the rest. It is a very durable cable that has an F-type connector on each end. This cable is used for connecting your cable modem to the internet service provider. Before we start setting up the network, I'd first like to talk about some networking components and what they do. These two devices are what connect to your internet service provider. The difference between the two is the type of connection that you have. So this one is a coax or a cable modem and this is a DSL modem. First let's talk about the cable modem. What this cable modem does is it, turn, is it converts your coaxial or your cable into internet. So this is what would connect to your network. On the DSL modem, it connects to your internet service provider through a regular phone cable or a DSL cable. And then you have four ethernet ports so that way you can connect devices to it. This DSL modem is nice because it has a router built in. So it has Wi-Fi and Ethernet ports built in, so this can act as a separate, as one device, and this is all you can need for a network. This, on the other hand, if you have this, you also have to connect another router to it. Another type of device you can have is a cable modem router combo, and this is what I have at home, but it's connected right now, so I don't want to disconnect it. But you, what that is is basically this modem combined with a wireless router. So these two devices would be one, and it would minimal, minimalize your network setup and get rid of some clutter. And so these two, two devices would be one, and that way there's less stuff to connect. And that is called a cable modem router combo. So these two devices are routers. This one does not have Wi-Fi, this one does. These types of routers are more obsolete nowadays because everything connects through Wi-Fi, but they still have a purpose, which we'll talk about later. Now, this is the Wi-Fi router. This one has antennas built in, but 
some routers don't have antennas, but they still have Wi-Fi. On the back of the non-Wi-Fi router, you just have your uplink port. This is special Linksys port, don't worry about this one. But you have a WAN port and you have four Ethernet ports. The WAN port is what connects to your modem. So for example, our cable modem that we talked about, this is what would connect to it. And then you can connect four devices to it. On the back of this router, you have a WAN port and you have four Ethernet ports. The ports between these two things are pretty much the same. The only difference between them is the Wi-Fi aspect. This is an Ethernet switch. This is the most basic Ethernet switch that you can get. This is all plug and play functionality. So all you do is plug in one Ethernet cable and it, you have seven more ports. So it connects all the devices that you connect to it together. And we'll talk about the connections more on later. But all you need to know about a switch is it connects a bunch of computers together. Now I'm going to show you a few configurations that you can have for your network. So in these demonstrations, I'm not going to connect any devices to power. I'm just going to connect the data cables. So the first example that I have here is I have the cable modem and then I have the wireless router. And this is very basic if you, all you want is you don't have a lot of Ethernet devices and all you want is Wi-Fi in your house. So the first thing we want to do is connect this to your internet service provider. So, so first we're going to plug in the coax cable into the modem. And this is what connects to our internet service provider. An example of this would be Cox or whatever's in your area that uses cable. All right. So now we're connect now this device is connected to the internet. So now we want to connect the internet to this device. So we are going to take an ethernet cable and connect these two devices together. So what you would do is plug the ethernet cable plug the ethernet cable into your cable modem, this ethernet cable into the WAN port. So now these two devices are connected and they both have both have internet. So now they're talking to each other and so now you're getting Wi-Fi in your house and you're getting internet. So now say you want to plug in a computer that does not have Wi-Fi. All you would do is plug in another ethernet cable one end into your computer and then the other end into the router and now your computer has internet so this is probably uh, one of the most basic setups that you can have but you're getting internet so now we're gonna add another component to this setup we're gonna add a ethernet switch and we want to add this switch because we're running out of ports on our Wi-Fi router, so we're going to add seven more ports. This is an eight-port switch, but one port is used for transmitting data. So let's put that right here, and let's connect the coax cable back to the cable modem. Now let's connect the Wi-Fi router to the cable modem into the Ethernet port on the cable modem, and then the WAN port on the router it'll say internet or WAN plug that in and now let's connect the switch all right so we're going to take one end of this yellow ethernet cable and plug it into port one port one on the ethernet switch and then we're going to take the other end and plug it into port one of the Wi-Fi router so now we are getting internet through all the devices you see here first it's coming in through the cable modem then it's leaving and going into the Wi-Fi router and then it's leaving the Wi-Fi router and going into the switch so these two devices right here are getting internet and you can connect anything into this Ethernet port, these Ethernet ports, or into these Ethernet ports. And this would be if you have a lot of wired Ethernet in your house. And you're also getting Wi-Fi. This is a combo router, so this has a modem and a router built in. 
all in one. So it has everything you can possibly need for a network. Uh, if you have very little devices and just use Wi-Fi, we're going to show you how to connect this. So first thing you would do is take your DSL cable from your internet service provider and plug it into the DSL port. And now this device has internet. And that's pretty much it. That's all you would need for a DSL setup. You have your DSL cable coming in and this has internet besides the power cable because in our demonstrations, we're not gonna use any power. In this demonstration, we have a modem router combo DSL and we have an ethernet switch. And so we're gonna connect these together. First thing we're gonna do is take our DSL cable, plug it into the router uh, combo. This is the modem and router combined. And now this has internet. Now we need to get internet from this into this. So we're gonna take another ethernet cable. So we're gonna take an ethernet cable, plug it into one of the ethernet ports on the router, plug it into this one. All right, so now there's internet going through this cable. Let's plug it into the ethernet port on this device. Now both these devices have internet and you can plug a computer into this. Now this device has internet. This is a pretty basic setup and is one of the most recommended is you have a combo and you have an ethernet switch so you can plug in a lot of devices as well as have Wi-Fi.